Hey, what's up guys? This is a quick follow-up video to the controller install videos I did um, for installing the 35 amp controllers that they're using currently to replace the 40 amp controllers. Uh, so these 35 amps here. Um, I did it in two parts. I did the first part to show how to hook up the motor, all the motor connections and, and everything you need to do just to make the motors run. And then part two was hooking up the cables for the lights, the headlights, side lights, tail light, uh, brake lights, and, and, and the horn, and all that stuff. Um, so something I came across recently is uh, in a, a slight wiring difference when you're wiring these up in an older version of the Q-Power. Um, I recently learned that there's two, uh, at least two different versions. Um, mine down here is the newer one. And uh, I mean, I customize it, so I, not that it looks like that normally. Uh, and then there's this other one that I got up here on this uh, stool. And uh, the, the best way to tell them apart is if you look at the round part of the steering stem, the part that goes up and down inside there, to adjust your height. Um, on this older one, there's a groove on the left-hand side of that round steering stem. So uh, if you look at it from, the, from the, the deck side, like if you're standing on a scooter, the side facing the deck is completely smooth uh, and there's, there's nothing there. So the groove is on the left hand side as you're looking uh, from the scooter as you were standing on it. Okay, now if we look at the newer one, look at the left hand side, there's no groove. Notice there's no groove there. Instead, so the side that's facing the deck has a, a groove in it, but it's larger. It's a wider groove than the one that's on the older one. So that, that's how uh, I think you can tell them apart. It's a different locking mechanism uh, right here. This part has, this one has a piece that fits into that groove there uh, and locks in. And uh, this one is just simply locked on with this mechanism here. Although I would recommend there is a hole in this bracket that you could drill through into this middle hand in the, the the round part of the handle in that groove and then you could insert a, a sheet metal screw with some loctite on it and uh, that's just an extra that would be an extra step to to hold that in there tight so it doesn't move and then still clamp it after that uh, i did that on q1 i did a video on that um, and that that would be a good way to st strengthen this here um, besides just having the locking mechanism. Okay, so that's the way you can tell apart. The older one has the groove on the left-hand side of that stem, where the newer one has the groove, a wider groove, along the, the back side where the rider would stand on the board. So when I first did uh, the other two videos, I was uh, actually installing the controllers in my newer Q-Power and uh, everything lined up. That's why I made those videos that match mine exactly. Um, now later on I got the second one here that I'm repairing and I put the 35 amp controllers in and did the same thing I did as I did in the video and the lights didn't work. The headlights didn't, uh, the headlights didn't work, the side lights didn't work, the tail light didn't work, brake lights worked, and the horn worked. Um, the thing is the brake lights run directly off the controller so they're not tied to the same electric as the headlights and side lights. And uh, basically what the problem is, on the, uh, at least on this one, which is an older one, the connection for your con rear controller, which is this orange and black wire, if you watch that other video, to the light octopus cable, I call it. Again, I referenced that in the other video. Um, double check your connection here when you're wiring this up, because it has to be wired this way in order for it to work and that is with the orange wire that's coming from the controller cable when plugged on has to match up with the red wire on the light cable or the octopus cable so orange goes through to red and the other side black the black wire goes through the connector and comes out to the black wire on the other side it has to be wired up this way or your lights your side lights headlights and tail light will not work your horn will still work and that's because the horn doesn't care about the polarity. Basically, with uh, these wires reversed, the polarity is reversed, so the lights won't work. But the horn doesn't care about the polarity. I've, I've tried it both ways. It works either way. 
So that's why the horn would still work. And again, the brake lights are on a different circuit coming out of the controller directly, so they're not involved with this. So that's why your all your lights, your side lights, headlights, tail light wouldn't work, but your horn still would, and your brake light would still work. And this is likely the reason because these wires are reversed on here. So I had to do that on this older one. And basically what I did is I popped out these two wires on the light cable side. I left the controller side alone. So I removed the red wire, removed the two black wires, which are tied together in one pin, and then just moved those pins and switched them around. So now the red goes over to the orange and the black goes over to the black. Okay, so I went ahead and pulled this out. You can see it's just a pin that sticks in. There's a little flap or of such that sticks up on this one side. I'll lift that up here in a minute to show you better. But when you, you, you take a poker or something like this, you stick it down and if you see the locking mechanism on here, inside the connector there's kind of a hole on one side of the pin and you stick the poker down that hole and then basically what it's doing is allowing you to get on that tab and push it down and manipulate it. You push it down a little bit as you're trying to pull out the wire out the back. And if you hit the tab and push it down enough, it's going to unlock from the plastic piece. You can pull the wire straight out like that. Um, these two wires are soldered on one pin, so you just do the same thing. Stick the poker down there, manipulate it, pull the wires out, and then put the pins in in the opposite sides as they were to, to reverse the polarity. Okay, so before you put that pin back in, your pins back in, uh, you can see that little tab now that's kind of sticky up at an angle. I lifted that up just with like an X-Acto blade or that poker or something. And the reason is when you, when you remove this, you're pushing that tab down so it unlocks from the plastic piece. And when you put it back in, you want it to relock, so you have to uh, make sure that tab is sticking up like this. So when you put it in the plastic piece, it will engage and, and lock the pin into the plastic piece. So when you put these back in, you should be able to pull on the wires from the back and they shouldn't come out. Okay, so that's uh, basically what the issue here is. If you get it, if you follow the other videos and your headlights, side lights, tail light doesn't work, this is the reason. But while you're actually doing that video, if you catch this in time, just be careful when you're plugging this on. It doesn't matter if it gets plugged on backwards, it's not going to hurt anything, but it's not going to work. So you got to make sure the orange goes through to the red and the black goes through to the black uh, and then it should work. Okay, so uh, I hope that uh, helps some of you out there. Uh, I know somebody's contacting me with the, this exact problem and uh, I'm helping them out right now. Uh, so uh, if you have any questions or anything, drop me an email. I'll link my email down below. And uh, I'll also link the two previous videos, um, the part one installing the controllers to get the motors running, part two uh, installing, uh, connecting all the light cables to get the lights up and running. And then this video you're watching now is kind of part three, um, just an update about if you have an older one, the reversed wiring. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I'll be doing some other things here pretty quick, and I uh, hope you have a good one. Take care. Peace.